yeah, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but the interview that I did last week went up on his channel. Um, and most of the comments are all just like female Travis or like something's changed Travis. Did you do something with your hair or he's wearing makeup? So I'm just going to meme right back. Oh, hold on. Really told you guys what I'm doing today. Have I? So we're gonna print onto these t-shirts. So after we bought this stuff, we're gonna go buy some fabric paint and then we're gonna buy some potatoes and then we're gonna make the prints that I want to have on the shirts. That's the shirts that Travis wears. He wore a lot of them last season. Uh, any else? Yes? and they're like Hawaiian shirts, but they're very specific print. So I'm gonna make, remake those shirts. So that's why we've got this color. So this one, we're gonna put um, white and like a white and salmon pineapples on it. So that's gonna be fun. with like dark blue leaves. And then this one, we're gonna put cactuses on with like a little sun or something like sunset sun I've also got glasses to wear for the interviews which is what he has and sometimes it's so great sometimes he wears both in the interviews he'll have like the outside sunnies like hooked on his shirt and then he'll have his like uh, vision glasses while he does interviews and I'm gonna do that too I'm just so excited to troll so to start off we're just gonna map out the size of the stencil and that's what I'm doing here. I blocked it out in a little rectangular size that I thought would fit based off the shirt sizing. Here I'm just trying to find out what size the potato needs to be for me to cut and make the stencil and then proceed to cut out my trace drawing as you can see. And then I went to cut it out so you want to have that trace drawing be the most further out part of the stencils so that it only prints that amount of paint in that area so in other words your drawing cannot be going into the potato it has to be extruded out of it here I'm also using a screwdriver to help do the details and this is me testing out the paint and also mixing the new paint so I made a darker green with the green and black this is laying out the shirt flat so that it has a good space to press. This again is making sure like a little mark is in place where I need to put the different prints so I don't forget a print or know the pattern properly. I also marked out the buttons so that when I printed on it the buttons would stay white when I was finished. So here I'm taking away one of my stencil locations and then proceeding to print the little sun. It was a little bit dark so I added some white and then I just printed right on top of it because it was easy to do and a circle. Here I'd realized that I was printing through the top layer of my shirt to the back side of the shirt because I hadn't put anything in between to like mask it. So here I put paper underneath the shirt to just put something between and make a barrier so that it wouldn't go through to the other side. Finishing the suns, now I went and I'm going to print the cactus print. It was kind of hard to do so I'm doing a touch up here because the folding for where the buttons go made it an uneven surface to print on. So here I'm just touching up and making it look more like what it was. And I did this with a toothpick. And it looks just like it. 
No. Just, yeah, squint really hard. <laughs> and you can't even tell. It's so, already looking pretty scuffed. This is next. Yeah. So just do it. Okay, <laughs> Travis, here's the question now. Do you think she should try and go hyper-realistic hyper with the pineapples and try and just shirt. copy this? So onto the next shirt, it was the blue one. There, I'm just drying up the potato because I washed it. We're cutting it in half so that I can make the right size. Make sure I have a big enough potato for the print of the pineapple. Here, I'm cutting out my stencil again and tracing it onto the potato. Again, I start to cut it out and make sure that the stencil I want is raised higher than the potato so that it prints. Here I'm doing some of the fine details with a screwdriver again. Potato starts like weeping or crying or getting more moist, you just use a paper towel to get rid of that as well. This is the step I didn't do last time that I learned, but I'm doing a test print. Here you can see me removing some extra paint from the inside lines with the toothpick so it gets a really fresh like press. With this you can now look at it better and see how big it might be and if it needs to be smaller or adjusted or changed in any way. As you can see I thought it was too big so we made it smaller by just removing an outer edge. Here I'm making a double stencil because the top of the pineapple, the leaves, had two different colours. So I wanted to make a stencil that was the right size but used two different colours. So I used the rear side circle and then yeah, did double the cut essentially and then just cut it, made it the top leaves into two stencils. Next I'm laying out the shirt flat so that it's got a good surface to print on. I also made sure to put paper back in the inside of it so that the paint would not leak through to the back of the shirt. Here I am taking out those little bit of extra lining details because when you put paint on it, it seems to go through. So to have a really nice fresh print, you just remove the inside paint so that you can see the lining better. I also put paper underneath the edge of the shoulder there so that I could just print without worrying about getting paint on something. And then I just went and found all of the white colours based off the reference photo and put a pineapple stamp in those locations. You were making the coral -y salmon colour with orange, red and white. And then going back to the reference photo and putting a orange corally salmon color pineapple wherever I saw. I'm again masking out the color uh, so that I can just print as best as possible without worrying about getting paint on where it's not supposed to be. Because it was an uneven surface, here I am touching up the print with the toothpick again. And now I'm just putting on the leaves with the two different stencils that I made on two different potatoes. I also ended up washing the potatoes so that I could get different colours on the same stencil and essentially reuse it without mixing the colours. And this is where we ended up just doing 
a print with potato and the color as a base, I decided it'd be better to go in with the paintbrush so that I could add extra detail. So here I am with the paintbrush going back with the colors. I actually ended up like ombre shading the pineapples so it looked a lot more like the shirt. Yeah, this one is, uh, is, is... I'm gonna be wearing a skirt, so it's probably gonna cut to like... Okay. Be fair. Nice. But, uh, eh. It's fine. You can be honest, Travis. Always. And then this is your... Yeah, this one I think I'm actually really impressed with. Really? Yeah. Do you want to add any touches? No. Most definitely not. I will not be... My involvement in this, I need to have zero involvement in this. Zero involvement? Oh, you're yeah. here, I've got it on stream. Quick, quick picture. Um, this don't is wear great. the shirt? No, no, wear, I don't care. <laughs> you should wear the shirt. I think the audience will really like that you did this. <laughs> I thought so too, because yeah. all the comments. I know. I was like, it, it just got to me, I was like, I That's have just to. my YouTube comment audience. I don't know why they're like this. I've never tried to cultivate this, but they are just like that. Well, I'm going like, to feed it, sir. So. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, I think they, I think they'll work. Heck yeah. I think that'll work. <laughs> Heck yeah. I don't get it.